Hi, this is Sunil from Informatica IIR support team. In this video, we're going we're going to learn about what are the input options available for ASM Workbench. Already, we have seen how to set up the Address Doctor version five for ASM Workbench and to launch this Workbench successfully. So here is the agenda for this video. So ASM Workbench input options and uh, we are going to see what are the what is the different uh, options available or validation modes available in ASM Workbench and what are those differences. As we know already how to launch uh, the ASM uh, Workbench. So initially you have to start the IAR server so that uh, it is the, in this case uh, the IAR server is already up and running see that you can see the command here ideas up and then uh, we can use uh, the command called ASM CLI, CLI uh, minus B option uh, to launch the uh, ASM workbench so once you launch the ASM workbench you can see now so here is a workbench so in this workbench uh, you can see that different types of input fields here so country name and what is the force country the character set and preload country option address input type what are the different types of modes we can use here and what how to set the preferred language and what are the validation modes we available and uh, here you can see that the output displays in this panel and uh, uh, it will show the validation status here so let's see how to use uh, uh, this op how to make use of these options uh, while cleansing the address or while validating the address so initially the country name so here you can select the different types of country names which you are going to give the address for that particular country and validate the uh, address against those databases so here different types of countries you have so in this case I'm going to select um, the United States so whichever the country you selected here that is going to be defaulted here see United States so we'll talk about force country later on this uh, uh, while talking about the um, uh, unfilled input so if you uh, if you see this character set so uh, it is used to define the character set of the input data uh, so that the past address fields will be written to the caller using this character set so this depends on the machine here we have windows and uh, uh, if you're using unicode then you have to use set the different character set uh, like that we can set the character set based on the based on the machine or what is the type of uh, code you're using then uh, the preload option uh, what is the preload option uh, the preload option provides flexibility uh, in loading the uh, country address database into memory I mean to say primary memory so uh, the only one can uh, I mean at a time uh, only one country database can be preloaded if you see here we have uh, uh, two types of uh, uh, preloads one is partial and the other one is full so the partial preload will load the data and indexing structures into memory it means that the reference data will remain on the hard drive if it comes to full load uh, a full full, lo full preloading provides um, or will move the entire reference data I mean to say the database files entire reference data into memory so it requires uh, uh, the large amount of uh, uh, the memory to load the entire reference data so we'll get the significant uh, uh, performance uh, if you use this option full preload and the next uh, uh, ad uh, option is uh, the address input type we have basically if we can talk about the fielded and unfielded input and uh, inputs so in the f uh, what is fielded address input type 
fill see if the field address uh, will typically provide the most reliable results when cleansing the address so if you come to unfilled address see here field address means you have the fields for every address we can provide here if you come to unfilled address uh, it has no explicit uh, 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 it has no explicit structure it means it means there is no structure at all for this unfilled output unfilled input other than other than the uh, 10 line input so this is more flexible but produces a least reliable results then uh, talk about one more option here uh, the modes batch mode interactive mode what is batch mode so batch mode is mainly used for importing input file containing uh, unfilled input data and correcting the input address see using batch mode you can import the f uh, any file which contains the unfilled data so that you can parse here so that is batch mode so what is interactive mode see uh, let, let's say let's say let me give one example to you See here already we selected the country country is United States so I'm parsing this um, address see here you can see that uh, street one street number locality what is the locality so as I told you before uh, if you want to validate in batch mode you can you can go for validation here with this button please click on validate so that you will get the status here data could not be corrected and is pretty unlikely to be, uh, to be delivered so uh, as I told before batch mode or unfielded uh, uh, input will provide the uh, produce the least reliable results so if you use the same thing in fielded input so you can't use the fielded input with batch mode it always uses with interactive mode let's say if what is interactive mode in the sense interactive mode uh, mode is user driven user has to use either unfielded or fielded inputs so based on this mode either batch or interactive we have the validation modes available like see if you if you if we are using unfielded batch mode we have only two validation modes that is correct and certified if it is interactive then we should get three uh, sorry it should be fielded so three uh, validation modes that is complete suggest certify so let's let's see in um, interactive unfielded see I'm providing like this let's say handed code in only same thing if it is unfielded input we may not receive the reliable uh, uh, results so if you want to if you want to go for the re reliable addresses ad I mean re reliable uh, result outputs then you have to choose the fielded input type so uh, let me provide the same thing here now see now I'm using uh, you can select any type of mode here since it's interactive if you want to certify you can do it see interactive fielded input I'm using the mode called certify so in order to use certified mode you should have the certified files for USA that is CAS files so input data correct all elements were checked and input matched perfectly so this is how you can check here 
let's see the different types of modes here see if it is batch we can have two types of uh, uh, validation modes that is one is correct and one is certified so if you want to certify you can do that very well so if you want to work with certified certified mode then you should have a cache files for us so this is about batch if you go to interactive we're having field input you're having three types complete suggests uh, certified already we know that what is a certified mode then let's see what is suggest mode see the suggest mode uh, basically the correct mode is correct the input address here the suggest mode will generate the suggestions let's say if I don't have here like this see we will get the suggestions since I don't have the exact address so based on the given input if it is incomplete or uh, it has been um, it has uh, uh, any suggestions on this so that it will provide the suggestion addresses here so that you can select the uh, whichever address you want so generally used uh, this suggestion mode used by online application uh, uh, where the operator can choose uh, between a list of uh, possibilities list of possibilities then uh, this suggest mode then what is complete see here complete um, uh, use and uh, here it uses an incomplete address to uh, uh, generate to quickly generate uh, the suggestions let's say I'm not giving the full address here just I'm giving see here you can see the suggestions here how many number of suggestions you are getting here so many number of suggestions this is the difference between complete and suggestion suggestions means on providing input address it gives you the suggestions but in complete it uses an incomplete address to quickly generate the suggestions that's the difference between complete and suggestion so and this uh, uh, one more uh, input uh, uh, is uh, address label suggestion so what is the use of this address label suggestion let's say I'm using any some uh, type of this address so let's say this is my address I'm going to certify it yes it is certified if you want to see this uh, uh, address as a label you can double click here so that you will see the address in address label suggestion 100 Cardinal Way Redwood City C so this is the uh, this is the uh, address given by your um, the address doctor so this is how you can uh, see the label address label suggestion then we have one more field called here preferred language what is this preferred language by default the preferred language is postal admin it means that uh, it will set uh, the preferred language to that which is preferred by the postal service if it is US the postal service is USPS so based on the country uh, it will uh, set the preferred language if you want to get the uh, uh, the language in Latin script you will, get, you will use the Latin script if you want to the, uh, see the output in English you can you can set the English here finally uh, you can see what is the use of this force country let's say I have unfilled data simply I'm using this one so unfielded data uh, you can say okay, unfielded data and I'm going to validate it so here I have a province okay if we want to add more number of output fields we can add like this see see I'm not giving any country details here still it is taking country as Canada but here I'm selecting United States so in order to use the same country for this particular address when you're using unfilled data unfilled input type then you can select force country so that it will so this address will take United States as a default country let's see this now validate now it will take the United States so this is the use of force country option in your ASM workbench 
So this, these are the uh, various type of uh, input options available in uh, ASM Workbench.